we get ghost hunters, mystics, clairvoyants coming on it. They have all feel the energies, they feel this, they feel that. There's one particular room we go into, a lot of people feel like there's someone pushing down their shoulder, they feel like there's someone breathing in their ear. Um, bags have opened, earrings have done 360s, cameras malfunction, whole load of stuff. Guy collapsed inside here one night. One particular girl, she actually felt like she was pinned to the wall, she felt like someone stuck a needle up her nose. You're freaking me out, why would I take the tour now? <laughs> Welcome to the A Midlife Traveler podcast, where we want you to go see the world, discover interesting stories about people, places, and practical advice to help you plan your next vacation. Hey, hello, everybody. It's Laura with the Midlife Traveler podcast, and I am coming at you this week with a bonus episode. We are closing out the month of October, and we're throwing in two episodes this week because it's almost Halloween, and because I met someone recently in Killarney, Ireland, who runs the Killarney Ghost Tours, and his story is so interesting. It makes sense to share it with you now. And even though all of our prior episodes have been about Scotland so far, we've got lots more on Scotland to share. This will be the first episode where we're kicking off um, some of our new series on Ireland as well. As with a lot of our recordings, this was taken in the field, so you're going to get some background noise. I met D.B. O'Connor in a parking lot of all places in a parking lot at a conference center as we were preparing to divide into groups and get on buses and as I was talking to him I think I was asking him something about the bus I was on a woman came up and started just pointing at him and well mild freak out not total freak out mild freak out but pointing at him is like oh <gasps> ghost man he's so scary oh my gosh this guy's so scary and she was looking at me like why am I talking to the scary man at eight o'clock in the morning so I, I looked at him like what's up and he said uh oh, you know I, I run the Killarney ghost tours I thought hey that's a great story why don't you go ahead and tell me about that so it sounds like a really cool tour I looked it up online it gets lots of good reviews, both from the storytelling and the history aspect and from kind of freaking people out, scary aspect. And if you go to our website at amidlifetraveler.com, I will have full links to the original Killarney Ghost Tour in case you want to check it out next time you're in Ireland. It's a ghost tour, but it's not a ghost tour. I'm, I'm a storyteller. Shanna Key is, is um, it's, it's Gaelic for... Um, the, the actual direct translation of the word is a keeper of old lore. And men and women okay. such as myself, we can we can actually trace our lineage all the way back to the Celts nearly two and a half thousand years ago. Um, no, what we uh, what we are is about promoting, we, we, you know, Irish people, we're great at talking, we're great at telling stories. And this comes from our Celtic heritage. Uh, the Celts had no written language. But what they had within their ranks were men known as the Philae. And they were the guardians of the history. And they passed the doings and the deeds of the various tribes on from generation to generation by word of mouth in the form of song and verse. That was until the monks arrived. They arrived in the early part of the 5th century and they are actually the first people to write down Irish history. But the wonderful rich storytelling tradition continues right up until the present day. People like myself and other people. It's, it's very much a dying art, but in recent years undergoing a revival. And that's primarily what we're about on the ghost tour, is reviving the... So- how do you find out about the ghost tour? Uh, get, well, get you, you, you go online, you go online and look up the original Killarney ghost tour. You get on our website, you get on our Facebook page, okay. and you find us on TripAdvisor. Is there more than one ghost tour? There's only one. Okay. There's only so one. The original only, one and only Killarney, the only ghost, Killarney tour. ghost tour. There's only two in the country. There's one in Dublin, and there's one down here. There's only two oh, in the entire country. Okay. And but we are different in the sense that we we go to the, the grounds of an old hotel, a haunted hotel. We go to an old abbey built in 1448 in around the graveyard. Mm-hmm. Lots of interesting things happen in the abbey. Mm-hmm. Personally, myself, I'm doing it nine years, and I have not seen, felt, or heard a goddamn thing. Nothing. But people have had interesting experiences on the tour. 
that. Orbs have become part of the, the tour as well. If anyone out there knows what an orb is, I orbs are orb supposedly is. signs of spirits in the air around uh -huh. us and they appear on your cameras and pictures, white spots of light and lights running through. And we get a huge amount of them there on the actual. We get ghost hunters, mystics, clairvoyants coming on it. They've all feel the energies, they feel this, they feel that. There's one particular room we go into. A lot of people feel like there's someone pushing down their shoulder, they feel like there's someone breathing in their ear. Um, bags have opened, earrings have done 360s, cameras malfunction, whole load of stuff. Guy collapsed inside here one night. One particular girl, she actually felt like she was pinned to the wall. She felt like someone stuck a needle up her nose. You're freaking me out. Why would I take the tour now? <laughs> it sounds like a magic show, right? Well, it, 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 I know it's very interesting. It is. If you if you uh, if you go on uh, TripAdvisor, it's hard to describe what it is because okay. it has evolved okay. uh, over the years. Yeah. But uh, you get people's impressions of it. And I, I like I'm a skeptic. I I will. I started it like I said. I'm about the storytelling primarily. And if I can see you know, pictures, I could sensationalize the pictures. But most of them are reflections. They are flashes, bouncy off rocks. A lot of them are explainable, but there's a lot that are not. Yeah. And I still have to come up. I'm trying to explain them. So yeah. whether it is something, an energy, what it is, I don't know. I can't explain it. But people genuinely come back to me. One lady actually, it was the biggest reaction we ever had. It was a few nights ago. Um, we had a lady, she got to the door of this room and she she said she physically felt so much pain. The tears actually started rolling down her face. She started shaking. She got really, really upset. Like a lot of people get there and I think it's, you know, they're just nervous because I've built it up and all of that and they don't go in and that's grand. But this but, woman had a but massive But we're all reaction. individuals, individual, the soul, the energy around yeah, it. Yeah, I so think people can some people are more, yes, yeah, some yes, people are more yes, susceptible. Yes. And that's what right. I've seen over yeah. the years is as people, you, and I you know we have a bit of crack, we, we, you know, we have a bit of fun with them and there's jump outs, there's you know, the usual stuff on any ghost tour, but it's historical, it, it's interesting, it's funny, yeah. it, it's a bit of everything. So thanks for listening to the Midlife Traveler podcast. If you're looking for any of the resources that were mentioned in today's episode, please go online to our website at amidlifetraveler.com. Also, we'd really appreciate it if you subscribe, rate, and review us online at iTunes and uh, just send us a note. Tell us what you think about the podcast. We would really appreciate it. Thanks.